what is up guys this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel if you're a xiaomi user you're using mi ui 11 or mi ui 12 then i have a very great tool for you the tool is for laptop users or computer users through which you can uninstall all the system apps if you want to even without unlocking your bootloader and you can reinstall them you can flash rooms you can do whatever else you want to do some things require root some things require unlocked bootloader but some things which requires the ATB does not require unlocking bootloader and these kind of things this is kind of very useful tutorial for you make sure to watch this video till the end I'm gonna share with you all the download links all the important things important notes and how you can do all these kind of steps by step by step from my laptop so make sure to watch this video till the end also don't forget to like share and subscribe this video subscribe this channel don't forget to like and share this video as much as you can now let's get started okay guys let me tell you which are the things you need we're at my computer screen this is the adb driver zip file which you need and i have extracted this then you need this java jdk i'll provide a link in the description for this one and this is the main tool which we need to do these kind of magic stuff for our xiaomi device first of all we have to install all these files just extract this file open this file then you'll be able to open this file from here click on yes and the tool will be open successfully now what you have to do is just take a usb cable for your device like this and then connect your device to your pc by connecting your usb cable let me just tell you just click here and yes as you can see my device is connected and as you can see my device status is ok and if you don't have the adb drivers installed it will install automatically you just have to click on install but in my case these are already installed that's why this is showing me like this and this is a green tick which means my device is connected successfully so i don't need to do anything so i will just exit from here right now after that what you have to do is just go back once again now we have to install this i have already installed this one too so you just need to click on next 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 and normal installation like other software so this was also very easy and after that what you have to do is let me just tell you by clicking finish once after that you will be able to open this tool so just open this tool once and this is how your tool will look like and then on your on your device you will see this kind of pop-up just click on ok once and then your device will be connected and will be shown here like this this is the whole information about your device code name is gingo this is my redmi note 8 that's why showing me and if you're using any xiaomi device any redmi device will be able to see these kind of things okay so this is the thing where you have to do a lot of things now let me show you all these things one by one first of all in my case this is my device first of all let me show you all these kind of things and these are the apps which are pre-installed suppose if i don't want some chinese apps but actually i am using xiaomi eu so i don't have any chinese apps but as i can still uninstall some apps which i don't require let me show you all these things one by one we have the compass downloads fm radio a lot more things and some other things which i don't even like i don't even use sometimes so we can uninstall all these apps if you if we want to so in my case i'm gonna uninstall this recorder app because i don't use this recorder app much so what i can do is as you can see let me just show you my recorder app is here now i'm gonna click recorder from here click on uninstall by clicking here click on proceed and then you will see recorder will be yes recorder is gone from here it was just like a magic you can uninstall any app from here you can use any app from here too all other apps are also available you can simply un uninstall any app from here by just one click and also let me show you one more thing when you go to the reinstaller tabs there you will see all the apps which you have just uninstalled so in my case i have just uninstalled the recorder app now what i can do is i can simply click here and then i can reinstall this app to my device if i want this once in future or whatever so when i click here click on yes and then on my device let me show you 
Now on my device as you can see recorder app is here once again. It was quite easy to uninstall or reinstall apps but yes you can do this without even unlocking your device without even rooting your device. It was quite simple it was quite easy. Now let's let's take a look at some other features of this tool. So guys which are the other features you get in this tool we have the file explorer just click on open then you will see your file manager here and you can do anything here which means we can push any apk from here to from our pc to mobile directly we can take any file from our device to our pc directly from here like push to device push from the pull from device these two for these two kind of great things also with a new folder option rename or we can delete anything from here and for the kind of information if we have adb enabled then we can do almost anything which is kind of great thing you can do let me show you one more thing i just forgotten about that when i open my device when i go to the settings option you have to enable developer options first if you don't know how to enable developer options just go your my device go to all specs go to minui version click here seven times i already have enabled the developer option so i'm gonna go back go to the additional settings go to developer options here i have to click on usb debugging for sure if you have enabled the USB debugging, then you can do this kind of process. If we don't have the USB debugging enabled, then you can might miss these kind of things. You will not be able to do these kind of things. Let me show you some other things about this tool. We can change the system screen density. We can change the screen resolution and a lot more things like that. Okay, this is kind of a little bit of a different part of this video as we already did about ADB kind of things. Now we are at fast food things. My device is actually at ADB mode. So this kind of things will not work. So you have to boot into fast food mode. Then you can do these kind of things. First of all, we are going to take a look at this kind of things. My device is showing as Kingo. And when I click here, I can download any ROM which is stable, which is which the stable version is perfectly available for my device. For example, if I choose a China stable, I will choose a get link and then it will look like for my China stable, lit one, which one is right now, MIUI 11.0.7.0. This is the official China stable build available for my device. I can download the ROM directly from here and also I can choose other builds also like EEA stable, global stable, India stable, Indonesia stable and anything from here. I can simply link, I can simply copy the link from here and download directly from any other downloader also which is kind of great thing okay if we talk about some other features we can select the rom folder from here like if we already have downloaded the fast boot rom we can simply click select the rom folder and then the method then flash rom so which means it can also do the work of flashing the rom on your device without even using the mini flash tool which is kind of very interesting thing for you that you can unlock your device also here you have the option of unlocking your device make sure you have a proper backup of data because if you want to unlock your device that it will unlock it will just format all your data also if you have a time like if you choose the me flash tool then if you get here like 168 hours timing option available there then you will not be able to unlock your device from here too because this will also work from server side so you cannot bypass that time just don't take these kind of myths available anywhere on the internet you cannot unlock your device instantly if you have a time reminder available if you just unlock once and it's unlocked and it's good and if you're getting time you cannot unlock at any cost without bypassing your device so you cannot bypass at all here you have also have kind of recovery things where you can wipe the catch wipe the user data wipe catch and user data so that you'll be able to do some another cool kind of things also if you talk about some other things we have the anti rollback safeguard option which you can disable we can also choose the flash image flash room we can automatically reboot to recovery after all kind of things these were some kind of great features available here in options you can reload your device and device you can reboot to system recovery fast boot or etc so if we click on fast boot we have just enabled our ad mode now it will be connected into fast boot mode as you can see and in fast boot mode all these options will be selectable let me tell you let me show you all these kind of things once 
okay guys so as i am not able to connect my device because of i don't have drivers actually i am booted into fast boot mode automatically but my my pc does not have the fast boot drivers but i already have enabled the adb drivers i already have installed the adb drivers that's why this didn't got me any error so you can do from adb whatever things you want to or if you want to choose the fast boot mode you can install the drivers and also you can choose fast boot options from there which are these kind of things so these are all the things that i just wanted to share with you i hope you like all these kind of things and this was all from today's video this was short and simple one i hope you like it this was all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day